<laughs> Woohoo! Glory. I hope you are having a wonderful coronation. Uh, my coronation is going very, very well. Um, all except for all of the things that, uh, you know, like all the honeydews, like all the things that I told my wife for the last two, three years that I would do when I had time. Now, suddenly I have time to do those things. But how are you guys today? Hope you're having a great day in the neighborhood. Hope your coronation is going as well as mine. We have a great show today. We are talking about how you can publish in 30 days with our book. <laughs> Yes, we are going to teach you, show you, lead you, guide you step by step how to publish in 30 days, not 30 years with our book publisher. And don't you just love how I got that little quote in there? I have no idea what that's supposed to be or what that means. Uh, but we are going to show you, we are going to teach you how to get published in 30 days. Chrissy, what do you think about that? Is that even possible? That's like the dream right there, man. I mean, that is the dream. That's, I think, what we all think is just probably normal. And then when we start getting into it, we realize, oh, this could take a year or a year and a half. So 30 days is what one would hope for. So I yeah. think it's pretty awesome. And I want to I want to clarify what we're going to talk about. And But before we do, I want everybody to notice these little, like that looks, it's not tape. Okay. That is steam. That's how hot it is over here, guys, because so many good things are happening. Uh, it's just like steaming here. Plus my wife is here with me in the studio. So things are steaming up. So um, we're talking about how to get published in 30 days, but we're actually going to talk about micro publishing and we're using the terminology. Uh, we, we call it the O oh snap challenge or snap publishing. And the idea here is, and we're actually going to do a couple of things that will probably blow your mind, everybody, kapow, boom, oh my. We're going to teach you, show you guys a couple of things that, um, well, my wife, myself, and even we have done for uh, customers and clients that are, um, uh, that are authors that we've done for a long time. And we love this process. And it's Teresa, my wife and I were talking about this. We're like, man, this is really what we need to bring out is to create something that is simple, not full of stress and not so overwhelming in the arena of writing a 45, 50, 55,000 word book. Absolutely, you need to go through that process so that you can either self-publish or traditional publish. But what we're going to show you is we're going to show you how you can do micro-publishing with unlocking your book, we call it the snap challenge. And we're going to walk you through that process today. But before we get to all of that, we definitely want to say hi to some of our friends. Thank you, Shelly. Uh, thank you, Clarity. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We appreciate you so much. Please share uh, this broadcast. Now, we're going to have our, uh, we've got a devotional. So devotionals with Teresa is coming up in 15 seconds. Here we go. Get ready. Whoa. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Let's do that. That was fun. <laughs> so we have devotionals with Teresa Yancey. This is my Hi, lovely Teresa. bride. Hi, um, she is the only reason that I am still standing and have uh, any of my life together at all. So I'm very thankful, very grateful. And so <laughs> thanks, Chrissy. I really appreciate that. I'm applauding you know. Teresa okay. and that your life is to get, this is good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a good thing. It is. It is a good thing. Well, and I'm really blessed. I'm really thankful. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Today's going to be a really, really fun show because we're going to take a whole bunch of guesswork out of the process. And we are going to be talking to you very specifically about how you can get published in 30 days with our publisher. Like we will publish you. And if you just 
follow the steps and follow the system, you can have an actual piece of content that you have written that is fully published by a real publisher. I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. But first we have, uh, my, like I said, my, my lovely wife, and she's doing the devotional with us. And this is really a little bit of a case study for you as well. Uh, those of you that are writers and authors, some of the things that you can do to take your content and break it down into these small little segments so that you can attract your ideal customer and your ideal audience. And that's really what this is. We want to bless you with this devotion, but also using uh, Teresa and Chrissy and Abigail and other people that we'll be using as a case study so you can watch us take them through the process you get to watch it and then you can copy and look over our shoulder with your own book and your own content. So as she's doing these devotionals, they're intentional. One, we want to bless your socks off during the coronation, And two, show you how you can take already existing content and break it up into what we call segments or splinters so that it becomes a resource that people can sometimes purchase sometimes engage, sometimes follow, and get to know you a little bit as you're building your audience who eventually become, could be, would be, should be buyers of your books, resources, and content. So come on, Mrs. Yancey. I, I call her Mrs. Darcy because I'm Mr. Darcy. But Mrs. Darcy, share with us, share with us a little bit about your, uh, you got a word for us today. I have a word. What's the name of this? What's What's this word? <laughs> Well, we're talking about making war on worry. And one of the reasons why we want to do that is because we want to take off the limits. Take off the limits. Take off the limits because worry is a limiter. Here's the verse for today. Very familiar verse, but this is out of the Passion Translation, and it's just beautiful. This is Ephesians 3.20. Never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. Hmm. He will outdo them all, for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. All right, so worry will make your world very small, right? Small prayers, small hopes, mm -hmm. small Jesus. It will put you in a realm where you're no longer dreaming with mm -hmm. God. That verse is all about dreaming with God, right? He wants us, even he encourages us to use our imagination because mm -hmm. he can do more than we thought he could do. And worry makes our world so small that we quit that imagination. We quit that mm -hmm. dreaming process with God. But the truth is, no matter what our circumstances we are unlimited. Listen to this. God turns Sarah and Abraham's closed womb into a nation. God turned. Oh man, say that again. <laughs> okay. Do I get an extra minute if I had to repeat? No. <laughs> God turned Abraham and Sarah's closed womb into a nation. God turned David's messed up genealogy Come and on. family into the lineage of Christ. God turned Paul's prison years into a publishing house. Oh, yes. Baby. Half the New Testament came from his prison cell. God turned John's exile on Patmos into the book of Revelation. God turned Joseph's pit into his preparation for being the savior of the world. God turned the cross and grave into the gospel message that is still being published far and wide. Hmm. What can God turn your difficulty your pit, your impossibility, your restricting place, your coronation, your failure, your problem, your tomb into. It's time to take that problem and turn it into a prayer. That's what Ephesians 3.20 is telling us. Take your devastation and turn it into a dream. Let's listen to it one more time. Never doubt mm. God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. Never doubt it. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all, for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. Look at all the action words in hmm. that verse. Work, accomplish, Come on. exceed, 
achieve, outdo. Look at the power words. Come on. Mighty power, miraculous power that energizes you. All that power to get the job done is available. And the enemy does not want you to focus on that. He wants you focused on worrying about problems mm -hmm. instead of God's power. So today, let's refocus. Yeah. Let's focus on the dunamis. That's the word there for miraculous power, dynamite power. And it is at work in us and released through our unlimited prayer life, right? Paul said, I'm in chains, but the gospel is not in chains. So whatever your restricting circumstances may be, your prayers are not changed. Your yeah. dreams are not changed. That's your right. hope and your faith are not Come changed, on. changed. Jesus is not chained in you. Mm -hmm. But bust through the limitations of worry and pray big. Take Amen? off the lid. Take off mm -hmm. the limits. I really want to sing it, but it's not a Christian song. And so I'll get a lot of hate mail. And I don't actually... I don't open hate mail. So go ahead. Send it on. But anyway, so now check this out. She wrote this and then she shared with us for about three or four minutes. You can take your content and this is called in the marketing world. We would call this splintering. Now, Teresa's heart's probably a whole lot like yours where you want to bless people. You want to create resources. I, I've had multiple conversations with Chrissy and other customers, clients that we have, part of our agency, uh, authors that we help. They want to help people. And so rather than just thinking of like, oh, this big marathon, it's a 5K. It's a 10K. It's a, you know, it's doing these, or, you know, for some of you, it might be, can I run around the block? And what it does is it helps you get into the process and start training yourself to writing and publishing and getting this word out. Because a lot of people, a lot of people have it in this mindset, someday I'm going to write a book. And you write a little here and you write a little there and then life happens. And I get all of that. But if you're actually going to fulfill the assignment, you have to take off the limits and you do have to keep moving one foot in front of the other. So the idea here that we want to teach you and we want to train you and we want to show you is how you can actually splinter your content. Now, how many words would you say was in that, that lesson, this, that micro lesson you did? Uh, I didn't do a word count, Just, maybe 200, 300. Okay, guys, did you hear that? Now, 200 to 300 words. And, you know, she could turn that whole thing, take off the limits, into a two or three part video lesson. It can go on a landing page. It can be an ebook. It can be more than a blog. And I, and I want to encourage you don't just settle for blogging, especially now. Here's the reason because people have changed, the landscape has changed. It's good to have a blog. But not a lot of people are reading your blogs. I'm just saying. I'm in the marketing space. I've been doing the marketing space. I understand. I get it. And analytics show there's not a lot of people going to your blog. Now, if you change the wording to something like the devotional, like this 200 words, 300 words could be a daily devotional that could be in a video format. It could be in an email format. It can be in all these different formats that you can give people this content so that they can connect with you. So now we're going to show you how to do just this, that, and the other. And it's a little bit more than two or 300 words, but I want to give you this as an example. All of you writers, all of you authors can do what she just did. You can write 200, 300, 500, 1,000 words, even you know somewhere in there, depending on where you're at. You can do that. Put it on a landing page, put it in an email, put it into a video, do a video. This, uh, and actually this particular segment, Teresa's building right now is called War on Worry. She's going to write a full ebook. I don't know how many words you think will do, less than 10,000. So uh, a, a, a complete theme called War on Worry. And she'll do, you know, she'll write less than 10,000 words. It'll go on a landing page and then she'll create two, three, four, five videos that are, I don't know, 15, 20 minute, minutes each just on that content. Put it on the landing page, let people put in their email and give it to them. And you have a tremendous amount of content that you can turn into graphics, that you can share with people. You can do Facebook Live, start building people up, speaking life and really 
I mean, in a sense, even your 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 um, your word for us taking off the limits. That's what Snap Publishing does. So, what are some of the limitations? Would be, you know, it takes a while to do traditional publishing, and that's okay if God leads you, but go that route for sure. But also, this removes the guesswork if you were going to self-publish. So, this is just a um, simple way for us to break it down. So, I want to thank you, Mrs. Darcy. Everybody, say thank you, Mrs. Dar Actually, don't call her Mrs. Darcy. You guys call her uh, Pro Professor Tree. So, anyway, thank you so much. We appreciate you being on with us. Love you. zippity doo da zippity a my oh my what a wonderful day now chrissy you've talked about this you, we've had this conversation um you're don't, don't don't take this wrong you're a little bit of a content junkie uh you're a speaker you're a teacher you're a writer you're an author you're all of these things you have your own tv show so you have this plethora of content and what's really important for people don't please don't compare yourself with anybody any mentor or anybody else don't compare yourself but I want, we want to take this today and put this into a very simple context that you can publish even, even 200, 300, 400, 500 words, up to 10,000 words in 30 days. You could have something that is physically printed and published in less than 30 days. And I'm not talking about the 45, you know, 50,000 words. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about micro publishing or snap publishing. And we're going to walk you through the whole process, how to get uh, published in 30 days with our publisher. And we do it uh, for simply just being an unlocking your book publishing member. Now, Chrissy, I mean, I know you already think like this, but how much content do you have that you could turn into these little micro uh, publishing, snap publishing pieces that becomes resources? And it's singular like war on worry take off the limits just small but it allows people to take action mm -hmm. yeah i mean a ton an absolute ton i've always just needed a visionary someone to help come alongside and say give ideas like that you know and so that's what we're doing is we're helping provide those and facilitate those ideas so that you can go in and scour through your content and say, oh, I could pull this out. I could segment this. Oh, here's more. Because when you think about like 10,000 words, if you've started a book or you're working toward writing a book or you have a book, that's really like two, if you're like me and you're long-winded in your chapters, a, a, a normal chapter is between 3,200 and maybe even 4,500 words, give or take. And so that's a two to three chapters right there. Um, it, it really, and that to me, that seems small. Yeah. Um, that doesn't seem like a lot after having written books with 14, 15 chapters in it. Um, mm -hmm. But I need the encouragement and the accountability to say, hey, here's a reminder, take your content, pull it apart. That's a lesson. That's what, You can pull that out. That's going to bless people. They'll be able to read that versus read it all in one big chunk. So. Yeah. Yeah. You have it. If you're a writer and you're out there and you're pouring your heart out, you it's not a matter of if you have the content. It's a matter of where is it and consolidating it and being purposeful with it and getting it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. I mean, like this is this can revolutionize the way that you write and you can't just think of yourself as a writer that doesn't publish. You have to publish your work. Now, some of you, you, you when we say like the word publish, you your mind probably immediately goes to the book in the bookstore. So you, you wanna shift from that. So publishing is like when you put something on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you're publishing. You put up a blog or a devotional, you're publishing. When you write something or take out some kind of content that's actionable, uh, that's either, either it can even be entertainment, and you put it into a context, you put it into a format 
so that people can engage. And this is really important. Take action with that content. Even if it's fiction or nonfiction, you're giving them enough content that they can take action. That action may be there's an agreement in their heart with your heart. That action may be they pray. That action may be a healing. That action may be like Teresa talked about, a limit is removed. And sometimes, and this is really cool, sometimes those actions that people take happen between them and the Lord. And you don't get any visual uh, visual um, accolades. You don't get any visual uh, confirmation. You, you don't get any visual approval or even that it, you even did it, but you did and you obeyed. And so this is something very simple that we have put together in Unlocking Your Book. And I want to answer Linda's question who says, I've never heard of Snap Publishing. Well, that's because that's our name that we're using for it is, you know, oh, snap, you know, and that's just Chrissy being silly, you know, but right. yeah, they all know that. Right. They know, <laughs> I know they do. And they, they know that I know and we all know that, you know, so, you know, Snap Publishing the idea here is it removes the guesswork and takes out this big feat of trying to run a marathon. And we've talked about utilizing and using the marathon as an analogy. You don't just, you know, go buy some yoga pants and tennis shoes and go out your front door and just go run a marathon. You have to train even fantastic athletes uh, who are paid to uh, be and be athletic for a living? They don't just go out and run a marathon unless they've trained for a marathon. So we believe anyone can write a book, and there's no reason to write it and not publish it. So what we've done is we've just created this micro. Uh, process to take smaller pieces of content, but it still has a singular takeaway. It still has a singular uh, call to action and then put it into a, uh, a system for you so that people can get that content. And that's what we're, what we're going to talk about today. So uh, yeah. So snap publishing is just, I don't know. We're not trademarking it or anything. It's just our way of saying micro publishing, simplifying the processing, uh, simplifying the process, uh, removing the guesswork, having a uh, a step-by-step -step formula for you to take less than 10,000 words and get it published in the format, both electronically. And if you want, you can also do it in print. My recommend our recommendation would be that you start with the electronic version before you because you know if you're going to print books, it costs money to print books, but start at least with the electronic. And if this is your if you're just getting started, what a great way to start writing and publishing where you could take uh, a few hundred words, maybe a couple thousand words, up to 10,000, not more than 10,000, and get it published and get it into the hands of people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Publishing in a snap. <laughs> that was, Publish that was it cool. in a snap. Publishing in a snap. <laughs> That's snap publishing. Yeah. So um, he, he, let's do some fun facts. Okay. Let's blow okay. some people's minds. Uh, actually, let me do this really quick. Let's blow some people's minds. What? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, how many, how many words? Put this together. Do you think are in S Song of Solomon? Take it, take a wild guess. No, Chrissy, if you know, if you know, don't say it. Okay. But we're gonna, we're, I don't we're know. Gonna do, okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to prove. <clears throat> that this is men that were inspired by God that answered this. This is the Bible, by the way, that were inspired to write. And when you look at the, the scripture of the Bible, I think it's like what almost 800,000 words. I think the Bible is like 800,000 words, some, something like that. It's massive, right? I, I'm pretty sure that it's pretty close to that seven or 800,000. Okay. If we asked Dr. Brian Simmons, he'd be like, you know, it'd be like 700,000, you know, 12, you know, you know exactly what it is and a half, you know, 
or point yeah. 12. But it's actually multiple small pieces of content. So I'll give you just give you an example. The Song of Solomon, which is uh, revolutionary to it's not just a romantic story. It's revolutionary to the message and the intimacy and the interaction between Jesus, the bridegroom and the church, the bride of Christ. And you could take, you know, Dr. Brian Simmons, uh, his courses from TPT Bible School on the Song of Solomon, and he breaks it down into like, you know, dozens and dozens of lessons and hundreds of notes and pages. But just the Song of Solomon, just the Song of Solomon all by itself. Take a guess, somebody. Put it in the comments. Let's see if you know. 2,600 words. That's what somebody said, or that's what you're saying? No. That's what I'm saying. It's 2,600 words. Wow. Now let's look at it. I mean, is it, that's mind blowing because you think of it as something so big. And the reason that we think of it as so big is because of the impact that yeah. it has. So something like take off the limits created for the impossible, uh, slaying the giant of fear, war on worry. Uh, uh, at the table with Jesus, that is a singular takeaway could be put into a few hundred, maybe a few thousand and up to 10,000 words. So that should blow your mind that people that were inspired by God sat down and wrote just 2,600 words. How about Esther? Is Esther an impacting book? Does it change lives? Is it a massive, powerful story? What about the book of Esther? How many words do you think are in the book of Esther? Mm. 5,600 yeah. words are in the book of Esther. Now, you know, you look at like huge books like the book of Jeremiah. Yes. The book of <laughs> Jeremiah has, you know, 42,000 words. Isaiah has 37,000 words. But we're talking about these small ebooks we're talking about small pieces of content all right let's have some fun joel 2000 words jonah 1300 words that's it how about the book of uh romans 9400 mm -hmm. words the book of ephesians wow. has the book of ephesians like just radically challenged your life 3 thousand words philippians the book of joy 2100 2100 how about hebrews 6800 the book of james 2300 first peter 2400 the book of jude 600 so just to give you an example these are small pieces of content that it's these are not huge 40, 50, 60,000 word books. So, and, and it's not, but just to be a little funny, the Bible is full of ebooks. It's full of inspired content that people wrote sitting with the Lord, writing out of the presence, inspired, breathed on by God, and they wrote actionable content that gives life. When you read Romans, you don't think of it like, oh man, this is less than 10,000 words. But for a writer, for an author, you're like, man, I can do, I can do this. The book of the book, uh, the, the, the book of John, the book of James, the, the book of Jonah, the book of song of songs, all of these different books. I can write like that. And I can take that, that message that God has put on the inside of me and I can write it. And it's as simple as First and foremost, you really have to decide what is the message that's on the inside of me and start there. And then, you know, you might not today, you might say, okay, I'm going to do a 2000 word book or a 5,000 word book or 10,000, but it, don't do more than 10, but definitely use our modules, module one, module two with the mechanics, use those modules to help you navigate your ebook. So let's break this down, how you can get done 30 days. Does that just like blow your mind to think like song of songs, the book of James, the book of Ephesians, like yeah. that's doable. It's doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it is. That is like to hear that is 
unreal. Um, I mean, some of those are less than a chapter you would put in your nonfiction book. That's like half a chapter, <laughs> the way I think, has mm -hmm. just a few pages. Right, right. Yeah. All right. And, and, and then, so let's just walk everybody through this process. And it's just a, a few steps and it's just a few stages, but this is how it works. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to write your ebook. So this ebook can also get published into uh, a format. Uh, to a print format. But if this is your first one, start with the ebook. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to decide what is my theme? What is the message? What is the primary takeaway? And Teresa just demonstrated that you can do it in just a few hundred words. So you can take anywhere from a few hundred words to a few thousand words up to 10,000 words and turn that into your published ebook. And through, through our publisher, you own 100% of the royalties and 100% of the copyright. So it's totally complete, you're, you completely yours. You have a nice cover on it. You edit it. You format it. And then you actually publish that ebook. And as you take something like, as an example of uh, Slaying the Giant of Fear, it would be so simple to take, <laughs> there's a, a little dog in the background. Hey, puppy, how's it going, babe? <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's so awesome. My, I love it. my dog. <laughs> it's great. Hey, we're right? quarantine. We're corn vacation over here. Right. So. Yeah. Corncation. Yeah. Well, so, so so you take that that one theme, and you can do so many things with this ebook. You could actually uh, put activations in it. You could do a guide at the end of it. You could do the, a guide in the midst of it. And here's something else that would be, and I would really challenge you to do this with your ebook, is to add video to this. So let's say you write 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 word ebook. And your primary takeaway, and we're going to just use Chrissy as an example, because she has a book that she has written and that's going to be published soon and it's going to be out on Amazon and all this called Slaying the Giant of Fear. She could take just a splinter of one chapter. So Chrissy, give us, uh, give us one of the chapters. Like what's one of the chapters that just, bam, just nails it. Uh, release your war breakthrough. What was it? Release through your roar of breakthrough. Okay. So release the roar of breakthrough. And what's that about just a, a little bit releasing the war? Of the, that's the last chapter. Um, that's where it all leads up to. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the like culmination of slaying the giant of fear is that we release that roar from within over that giant, uh, that roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah from deep within that, that we, you know, our roar silences fear in its yep. tracks paralyzes fear. Yeah. Yeah. So you could take that chapter and you could splinter it off. And if you hadn't written it yet, then you just write the two, three, four, 5,000 words, splinter it off into that capacity of just two, three, four, 5,000 words, and then you publish it. And then you could do one, two, three, maybe even four videos that are 10 minutes 15 minutes, 20 minutes long, and each, and then you can put a, a link inside your PDF, inside your ebook, whether people are just downloading it or whether people are actually going to, you know, purchase it. But you have a link inside there where people can go watch a video. So what are you doing? Man, you are getting your content out of there with just a few thousand words, and you are helping people go to the next level. They're learning about you. They're connecting to you. They're watching you They see you. And this is all something that you could do in 30 days. First, you take your theme, then you write your ebook. And then if you wanted to, you could develop something and we would show you how to do it because it's not that difficult. Even if you're like one of those scaredy cat type of people, like you, you just don't like getting on a video you can overcome that and we'll help you overcome that by getting you started, getting your feet wet. But what a great way to get your message out by publishing the ebook and then putting a video and it can be one, two, three, or four. So, I mean, Christy, like you have a show and everything, but I mean, 
how difficult would it be for you to take one chapter of slaying the giant of fear, uh, solidify it into one takeaway, one theme, and to create a couple of videos for it? Yeah, nothing. That would be that would be easy and fun. It'd be a lot of fun. And you're mm-hmm. gonna help. You're gonna help a lot of people. You're gonna help a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And if you're just yeah getting started with writing and publishing, that is a really great way to start building your audience because you want to connect with people. When you get into the 40, 50, 60,000 word books and you're writing and publishing those, you don't want your, uh, your book launched to flop because nobody knows what you've done. So you use something like an ebook, you use something like a video with it. And then the next step is the landing page. The landing page is something that we give you inside of the unlocking your book member. So if you're an unlocking your book member, there's a few different tiers of membership, but if you're an unlocking your book member through just the mentoring, we give you a website so that you for a sales page for your book that you're going to publish. If you're unlocking your book, uh, uh, publishing member, meaning you're going through our publishing process. We have, have over hundred people that have signed up for that. Then you get specifically all of this ebook snap publishing content and training and teaching on how to do that. And a landing page that is a theme that you can do use over and over and over. I mean, you could have four, five, six, seven, eight different landing pages just specific to those themes. So you could have a landing page for war on worry. You could have a landing page for uh, take off the limits. You could have a uh, landing page for uh, the roar of breakthrough. You could have a landing page for created for the impossible. And you use the, you use the, um, uh, your content from those eBooks to put on the landing page and people put in their email and then they can, uh, they can download it and sign up for it. And the other thing you can also do with this, and you know, this may not be something that you would want to start right away. You need to build an audience, but you can even sell these eBooks. You could sell an eBook for five bucks or seven bucks or 10 bucks or some, something along those lines. If it's good enough content, you could sell these eBooks, uh, but I wouldn't recommend that's how you start. I would recommend you give it away so people can learn about you and learn about your message and, and really just be a blessing. You know, don't worry about selling a product, worry about solving, don't worry about it, but focus on solving problems. So, mm-hmm. uh, and the yeah. landing page, go, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, you know, and so often um, authors will wonder, and I've seen this question in many times, well, what if I give away too much? What if I say too much about my content? Is there a limit to how much I should share um, before my my book is actually out, right? Mm-hmm. And um, so with your ebook, you may wonder, you may want to over strategize that. And really, it's like, just what's in your heart? What's in your heart to give away? I, I think what I've learned, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Jeremiah, but I think what I've learned is you really don't have to worry about giving away too much because you want to build that audience. You want people to connect with you. So if I did an ebook on the releasing the Roar of Breakthrough, even though that's like the final chapter of my book, it should be kept a secret, right? Well, no, let me give it all away because all that's doing is creating, I would hope, a hunger in you to know more. Like, well, I want to know, I want to read this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a takeaway from this. But now I really want to read the whole book because I want to see the steps that got me there in greater depth and unfolded even more, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So you don't have to worry about giving away too much. Just get your content out there. Get it. Pull from your book. Make an ebook. Pull from your ebook. Put bits on social media. Um, people will still that creates hunger for for those that are engaging with you to want more, not the opposite. They're not going to want less, right? They're going to just want more. Yeah. And put yourself into, because you are a consumer as well, put yourself into this consumer's process, thought, mindset, and position. So when we opened up Unlocking Your Book, we gave a lot of information and a lot of content to help people. And I guarantee if you're, if you're helping people, if that is your heart, that is your method. If you are solving problems, 
you can almost give away the farm and they will still be a customer, a reader, a follower, part of your tribe for life. Because marketing isn't, isn't, isn't closing sales. It is opening up conversation. It is starting relationships. And you can't just write the book, publish the book, throw it out on the website nowadays and hope. And even if you throw money at ads and hope and cross your fingers and pray to God that people are going to find it. You have a stewardship and a responsibility to curate that content and break it down. So remember that marketing's not sales. It's not closing sales. It's opening up conversation where you can build and you can create uh, a relationship. It's not selling. It's connecting with people. And connection is currency. Engagement is currency. And people want that connection. They don't even want things to be perfect, but they do want that connection. And so have the mentality that you're going to do life with people. The best writers... The best authors, the best content creators, the best marketers solve problems before selling a product and take that approach and you will, uh, you'll be very happy with, <laughs> you'll be very happy with the results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So, uh, solve problems before selling a product. Yeah. And that is, I mean, you don't even have to. I would argue, you correct me if I'm wrong again, <laughs> but you don't even have to think about selling a product if you're just solving problems. You just correct. keep solving the problems and then everything else is just the ripple effect. It, ha it just is a byproduct to you showing up and being that good steward. God breathes on it. He brings that multiplication by way of if you've written a book, people will go and want to buy that book. Yeah. The promise of the word is that God will water those that water. And you're mm -hmm. not a kingdom writer. You're not a write from the presence author just so that you can sell books. Of course you want to sell them. And I hope you sell, sell 10, 15, 20. I hope you sell a plethora of books, but more than anything, it is the obedience and the faithful steward to the word that God put in you. And if you will water people, God will take care of you. That is his promise. That is his word. And you should, you should not be worrying. Make war on worry. You should not be worrying about that particular outcome. You should yeah. just be focusing on serving uh, the master and serving the kingdom. And when you serve people, sales will follow. Uh, people will follow. People will become a part of that process. So yeah. let's just recap, recap really quickly. So, you know, first we started with, oh my goodness, uh, did you know that the book of Hebrews is only 6,800 words? Romans is 9,400 words. Colossians is 1,900 words. The book of James is 2,300 words. Titus, 896, and so on and so forth. We started with Song of Solomon is only 2,600 words. That is doable and actionable to create a powerful piece of content and publish it and put it into an ebook format. That's step one to getting published in 30 days. You choose your theme, you choose your messaging, you write it. It can be anywhere from five, a few hundred words to a few thousand words, up to 10,000 words. And we take you through the whole process and unlocking your book, but that gets you published with our publisher in 30 days. So now you have this ebook. So now you've written it and then you publish it in a format that's electronic. You can publish it if you want, even in a print format so that you, people could actually purchase it. But the idea is to get this content out into the hands of people. And then this is optional. You don't have to do this. But if you really want to create those connections, take that few hundred, few thousand word ebook and then put a couple videos, make them activation one video, two, three, maybe even four, create those videos and put links to those videos inside your ebook. And then people can 
connect with you. People can listen to you. People can uh, join your join your movement, uh, join your email list, and start to connect with you even more and further. And then when you publish a twenty thousand, a forty thousand, a fifty or sixty thousand word book or a guide, or a devotional, or whatever it is that you launch, people have already engaged, and they already know who you are, and what you stand for, and then you can, uh, it's easier to get them to take action when you publish that uh, that full-on book, and then it's the landing page, and we have four steps we're going to go through, so this is the third one, then the landing page, in the landing page, we give you, we give you the ebook landing page that you can use over and over, just as many ebooks that you want to write as an unlocking your book publishing member you can use multiple landing pages and i would encourage you man do more than one ebook i mean the reality is is if you're writing uh if you're doing 7 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes of writing every single day and you're producing anywhere from a few hundred 500 a thousand words a day you could do an ebook every single month and you might already have the content so you throw all that on the landing page, a cute little book mo- book mock-up. Uh, you have a headline, some pictures. They put in their name. They click the button. They download your ebook, and they start a relationship with you. And then here's the fourth part, and this is fun, the automation. We teach you basically once you put it all together, you automate it. So now you've got your website, which is, you know, your website.com forward slash ebook, whatever the name of your ebook is. So your name forward slash uh, dot com forward slash the name of your ebook. And you just keep sending people to that and you keep curating that content and you create all of this content and get it out of the hands of people. And then you automate it. You automate it with email. You automate it with the landing page and you don't even have to touch it. You just keep sharing with people that you've done it and you just, uh, it's fully automated and voila, that's it. That's all. It's not difficult. It's not rocket science. And we show you how to do that in the modules of marketing on how you can publish in 30 days with our publisher and to start thinking big, start thinking, uh, I'm going to run a marathon, but let's break it down into first, let's run around the block. Then let's do a 5k. Then let's do a 10k. And it's even okay if you need to walk the 5k or walk the 10k and just slowly work yourself up. And next month in the month of April, I can't wait till Easter. You know what? I just want to sock it to the devil. But anyway, I in, ne- in April, we're going to be talking about how to transition into a lifestyle of a writer and a lifestyle author like I'm going to do this for the rest of my life and I'm going to make this my primary, primary income. Okay. Woohoo! It's so good. It's, I don't even know how to do the things you're talking about with automation and stuff. It's just, it's unreal to be taught that, to be taken by the hand and shown this is how you can do it. And by the way, you can do it, you know, is, is yeah. so major. I'm over here like, wow, I get to be a part of this too. <laughs> Because you, you, you're as an author, you're thinking about the words, the message, the content. You know, um, you're not so much thinking about the strategy and the the process. And so to to have this just given to you, saying, hey, there there is a strategy, and it can look like this, and we're going to give you like a framework that you can now take, and then you can apply like in your own pace and rhythm, like your own put your own stamp on it but here's like a structure for it that's so massive what a i mean i feel blessed and honored to be on the giving end but but then i'm also on the receiving end too because i get to apply these things as well (laughs) yeah yeah and you're you're a i'm just gonna be honest as a market as a marketing guy uh you're an easy case study you know because you've already got so much content and the idea here is we want to create systems to just make it simple for people. Um, and we're, we're working um, really, really, I'm just going to say it. We're working really smart and very strategic behind the scenes. Um, I, I, we're putting so many things and people into place right now to make the process simple. Make it simple for people to understand because we don't want people to get stuck on the process. We want you to focus 
on sitting with the lamb, hearing his word, getting that word on the inside of you, functioning from a place of overflow. I'm like, come on, Chrissy Nelson. I want to see two books a year. I want to see more content. I want to see more videos. I want to see uh, prophetic words getting delivered. Come on, Teresa Yancey. Come on, Abigail Holt Jennings. Come on, all of you unlocking your book members, all of you that are out there just sitting with the lamb, getting mm. soaked. So you're just overflowing that it's like, it's just permeating. You're just leaking all over the place. That sounded weird, yeah. but just, you're just leaking yeah. Jesus with the Jesus. word of the Lord. And we need some now words. And that's, what's really fun about this. I mean, God gives you a now word. So what if God gave you a prophetic word, gave you some direction, give you, gave you something like this that you can put into a few hundred words, a few thousand, not more than 10, let's say up to 10,000 words, and you could get it published, launched on a website, fully done, ready to go, rock and roll in 30 days. Wow. Okay. Again, yeah, that's the dream. <laughs> that's the dream. So Shelly asks, and Shelly is an Unlocking Your Book uh, member. Shelly asks, are you going to walk us through that? Absolutely. Uh, everyone, who, if you are an unlocking your book, now that we have two levels, uh, we have unlocking your book uh, mentoring membership. That means you got module one, you got module two, you're getting module three starting next week, which you get a website with that. And then you get the community in module four. So everyone who is an unlocking your book mentoring member, you do get access to a lot of this, but in order to get all of this extra publishing to actual publish, you do have to be a publishing member and that launches on March 31st. So we launch the OSNAP challenge and we launch the publishing membership on March 31st. And it is specific to those of you that you, you're ready to go beyond just writing and you're ready to actually start mm -hmm. publishing. And so for some of you, you're not ready to publish the 40, 50, 60,000 words. You're ready to do a devotional. You're ready to do a few hundred words. You're ready to do a few thousand up to 10,000 words. And this helps you. And it's just very simple. We're creating uh, multiple lessons and taking you, Shelly, through the process of exactly how to identify the theme. Set up the ebook, do your video if you want to do your video, and then put it together your landing page, which we give you, and then lastly, automate the whole thing. So, and you you don't have to be techie, you have to do the work, right? You have to write the book and you have to do the work, but we walk you through the, the whole process. And I mean, this is something I've been doing for for a long time. Uh, I mean, this has been part of my living is helping authors be able to create this kind of uh, kind of content. So mm -hmm. it's going to be great. Oh yeah, Joe, marketing is like evangelism. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Social media is like a nation right now, right? We need to reach the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think of what we when we started this and we had that. It, it's time, like that was what was burning in our heart to tell people, God's writers, it's time, it's time. And you just think of right now, and I feel like it is time for such a time as this, for those, like you're saying, the now words to be coming out now. And people have been being unlocked and getting activated since November when we started the mentoring, you know, when we opened up the mentoring level, and now they're in the mentoring and things. And it is time. And to be able to jump into a 30 day, you know, publish in a snap, you know, an ebook, they can get out that now word and do it in a way that's strategic and thought through, you know, purposeful. Um, and their hand being held in the process, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I, I want to just say, you know, hey, if you have questions about Snap Publishing, uh, if you're already a member, this is simple, easy, easy because we we literally are holding your hand. If you're not a member just yet today, today's the day, just sign up and get started and go through the mentoring and get yourself into publishing and get yourself into writing. 
We are going to take you through the process. Now, Tammy, uh, oh, Doug, I want to say thank you. You are making it so e much easier to understand. Absolutely, Doug. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. It's our pleasure. It's actually part of our stewardship plan. We want to help people write, uh, unlock, write, publish and promote their book. Now, Tammy asks a good question. Tammy, thank you. If my ebook is going to be two chapters of my completed book, do I title my ebook differently than the book? Uh, and I would say yes, but there's a couple different things you can do and we can walk you through the process. Um, it doesn't have to absolutely be that, but let's say the title of your book was War on Worry. So here's a couple different ways that you could do it. Uh, because there's going, War on Worry is actually a chapter. Okay, get this. War on Worry is a chapter in one of my wife's books that she's writing right now. But let's say the name of your book, your completed book of uh, 40, 50, 50, 60,000 words, whatever it is, is War on Worry. You could call your ebook the two chapters of your completed book. You could call the ebook, you could call it this War on Worry, the ebook. You could do it just simple like that if you wanted to. Uh, or you could do, you could change it and put uh, taking off the limits, which is part of the core takeaway of War on Worry. You could call your ebook as an example. And if I knew the name of your uh, book and maybe even had uh, 25 words or less, just the summary of it, we could like go through this. But if you didn't name it War on Worry, which I would recommend go the, the other route, then you could do something like uh, take off the lim limits from the book War on Worry. And so you could do that. And what that does is it creates uh, curiosity. Um, it asks questions. It also answers questions. So uh, that's exactly what you can do, should do, is take content from your book. Like you don't, you can write uh, ebooks. I mean, you could just go crazy, do an ebook every uh, every month if you wanted to. But when you know that you're going to write on a specific topic, like war on worry, uh, slaying the giant of fear, then create an ebook out of that up to 10,000, a few hundred, few thousand, up to 10,000 words, and then publish that uh, in an electronic format. And the next part of your question, will I make the ebook look like a book of its own or will it be evident that it is just a chapter of the book? Absolutely make it evident. So you would want to use the same fonts, the same colors, the same design. Definitely make the distinction between the ebook for, uh, the ebook that it is and a published book, but you want things to be congruent so that when you actually launch your book, people are like, Oh yeah, I read those 3000 words, that 3000 word ebook called, uh, uh, uh um, uh, take off the limits. I read that. I, I loved it. I watched the video with that. It was awesome. It was amazing. I joined the face group, Tammy's Facebook group, and then it looks like the book. So you start telling people about pre-order and the launch in co is coming. So Tammy, keep it all, it, just draw a great big circle and put your book right in the middle of it. And then everything stays inside those, those, those lines as far as the congruency of what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish. So I hope that was thankful or thankful. Yeah, I hope that was thankful. I hope that was helpful. Um, okay. Hey, um, but, 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 um, any tips on how to design a cover for your ebook? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You come to the right place. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> absolutely. We're going to, you have come to the right place. Uh, we're going to show you exactly how to design a cover for your ebook. That is all part of the micro lesson, all part of the modules that we teach you. Uh, and when you do sign up specifically for the publishing, we go into great deal um, on, on, on how to do that to, to design a cover. And that is one of those, that is one of those things that like, uh, well, that's how I started, right? I really started in design and I love design and I like to work with really clean, really good design. So Melissa, we'll, we will definitely be helping you design a cover for your ebook. And then she had another question. Should the book cover look the same as your book? It, it, in, in some context, yes. Should use the same fonts, should use the same colors, 
even use some of the same copy, some of the some of the same language, so that because you don't want them to look like two totally different things, you want your blog, your sales page, your landing page, your content to systematically lead people to what that thing looks like, what that thing feels like. If you use different fonts, different colors, different language in the ebook, and then you go and launch the book, people are confused. They think yeah. it's something completely different. So you do strategically want to have what we call a branding kit. So you're using the same messaging, the same language. It doesn't look exactly the same. And if you pay attention to like billion dollar brands, like you know, uh, you know, Nike and T-Mobile and Apple and things like that, they're very, very good. And you can do the exact same thing with your book and with your content. So the book cover should not look exactly the same, but create some of the congruency. So for example, if you, uh, when you go through mentoring, uh, or excuse me, module three, the marketing, we show you how to create your unique value uh, proposition. We show you how to write your story. We show you how to write out, do all this in a day, how to write your content for your website, all of those things. You have this piece of content that's not massive that you just keep using over and over, but you reposition it and change it enough. And so you change it enough, but people see the same color. People see the same type of graphics. People say the same type of messaging. I mean, we've been using this unlocking your book, the gray, the black, the, the book mock-up we've been using. So we started, that's how people know as we create the congruency of who we are and what we do. And so you don't want things to look too different, but a little bit, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. Well, okay. I think that is, man, some great questions. Appreciate all the questions. We'll circle back on some of those things. Uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Uh, let, should we just go through it one more time just to, to help people and we'll close this thing out. So the idea here is for you to be able to publish in 30 days with our publisher. And of course, we're not talking a 40, 60,000 page book. Although if you had all your ducks in a row, we probably could <laughs> publish it. Uh, and that would be a process, but we could probably publish that in 30 days. But the idea is for you to splinter off and to create what is called an ebook. This is a few hundred words to a few thousand words, up to 10,000 words, where you're splintering off a core message and you're putting it into an ebook format so that people can consume the content. You can build relationships, build the currency of connection with people, build your audience, and build your email list. You can add, but you don't have to, but we would recommend, man, do a video with it. So you have a link inside your ebook where people can go watch a five minute video, a 10 minute, maybe you have two or three, like a micro course in your micro publishing in your micro book. You've got a micro course of a few videos that goes along with it because video goes a long way and people are going to hear you and see you and connect with you more by adding some video to your ebook. And yes, we show you how to do that. And then number three, you take it all, you package it up, you've done the cover, you have all this stuff done and you put it on the landing page that we give you as an unlocking your book member. And then lastly, so that you're not having to manage this on a daily basis, you automate the whole process. You commit, connect, uh, you synchronize your email list, you synchronize your website, you synchronize everything. So it's as simple as people putting in their name, putting in their email address. You probably did that when you signed up here and then it's fully automated. They click the button, that button takes them somewhere, download something, something of that nature. And that gets you published in 30 days with our publisher. And it will actually on your content, if you're a unlocking your book, uh, publishing member, it will say published because we will publish that for you. So very exciting. We're super excited to do it. All this goes down on March 31st. So March 31st, look out, here comes the snap publishing is going to happen. And that is not too far away. That's a week away. That's know. like seven days. Seven days. On Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. March 31st. Who's excited? Unreal. It's going to yeah, be good. I'm it's excited. Gonna good. It's going to be good. So we're here. We're here to support you. And, um, 
get you guys published in 30 days with our publisher. All right, folks, we love you. We appreciate you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Enjoy your coronation. I hope you are staying uh, footloose and fancy. God bless. Take care. Bye.